Hi. So today I wanted to show you what the group system in Godot is all about. Now, if you've used Godot quite a lot already, then you probably already know what groups are and how to use them. However, the group system is actually pretty easy to miss. What you have to do essentially is to click on the node thing next to the inspector and then here next to the signals click again on groups. This is how you can assign a node to a specific group. You can just give it a name, it doesn't really matter. You can click on manage groups. This way you can take any nodes in your scene and assign them to groups as well. Then remove it here, you can add it again. That's basically how it works. If you have any more nodes, these will show up here as well. Now those show up in here and we can add them to various groups or add a group. And that's what happens. And just type it as well. And yes, a node can be in two groups or more at the same time. Now, what can we actually do with this? Let me just attach a script so we can take a look. So the first obvious feature is we can use a script to add our scene to a group. So we can just say add to group and then the name of whatever we want to add it to. So group three, I guess. That way we have a new one entirely. Now if we run it, it's gonna do that, but there isn't really a visual aspect to this, so not much point in showing it. Now the next thing we can do is say we have a function right here, func say hello, print hello. Now this is currently the only node inside of group three. So what we can do is say get tree dot call group group three say hello. So yeah, essentially now this would be executed on any member of this group. And since we just added the same node to this group, that will execute as well. So running this and there we go, hello. So this is how we can run a function on all members of a specific group. Currently there's only one, but just imagine that there's lots of them. Each one would print hello right now. So one more thing we can do here is we can say something like get tree get nodes in group group one let's say and let's just print that so we can see what happens and there we go it prints out two nodes now these are just ids they don't really tell us anything when printed out like that but in code we can use them as references to call any kinds of functions or variables on within any member of that group so yeah, that's just a quick overview in case you didn't know about the group system yet. That will be all for today. Bye.